these three go to work together. Like now, the whole, during the holidays, mm -hmm. the parents is the teacher. Yes. When the schools open, the teacher becomes the parent mm -hmm. also. But in the church, in the mosque, yeah. we need to start looking at the eyes and the ears and the conduct of everybody. Mm -hmm. Because the teachers could as well be rec uh, radicalized. Yeah and they are the recruiters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why this committee, yes. you, you articulated it very well, mm -hmm. it is a committee within the government Nyubakumi initiative. Yeah. We have now moved from the clusters, because we formed nearly 300,000 300, yeah. Nyubakumi Salama Msingi clusters. Mm -hmm. They are doing their job. Yeah. They're in various stages of uh, knowing and getting to grips mm. of what they are expected to do. Yeah. But a decision has been taken, we promote, you remember the way the president came out? Mm -hmm. Although the statement was that uh, security is a joint merit of every person yeah. living in Kenya, mm -hmm. and that the first test of that is vigilance. Mm -hmm. Vigilance for everybody, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Then he said, this is all uh, joining in Bakumi. But he later came himself, mm -hmm. advertising, Usalama Unaza na na Now, we have now come from November last year. We are now targeting the individuals. Because radicalization is individualized, mm -hmm. it is not a group. Yeah. You therefore identify liners here, will tell you. Yeah. Liners has been OCPD. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they have quite a lot of uh, these experiences. Mm -hmm. They identify one person who is the seed recruiter. Yeah. And the, the ones that they, they recruit in secret, mm -hmm. using even uh, the phones, the phones mm -hmm. they are the ones that go. Okay. Others are just tricked. And we'll, and we'll get to the conversations in terms of the mediums they're using to radicalize. But let us very quickly, because we have had this conversation with you before, and so I'm approaching it from a point of information, mm -hmm. and we are going to get to the whole... But science and... Because normally what uh, people think about a radicalized person is somebody all of a sudden who starts brandishing a gun, or somebody who starts having uh, some unkept hair, yeah. you know, or something like that. Or, or somebody who starts... Uh, yeah, or they, yeah. you know, a beard, you know, something <laughs> yeah. like that. But what are the telltale signs that my son or my daughter mm -hmm. could actually be headed to the path of radicalization. Uh, JJ, uh, what we usually, in the forums that we do yeah. get with the, most of the listeners, we try to educate them on security issues, mm -hmm. is uh, we try to help them to be able to flag out some very specific early warning signs, yeah. uh, which if you are able to, if you see them consistently mm -hmm. with uh, your child or uh, if you're a teacher, the students you are teaching, yeah. if you start seeing things like, uh, for example, you'll find th they start exchanging literature. Yeah. And if you look at this literature, some of those literature are materials which have been written by people who are known to be radicalizers. Mm -hmm. They are known to be already in the other side. They are trying to uh, recruit new people. Yeah. So they have their own writings. Mm -hmm. They have their own audiovisual recordings, yeah. which they are able to give to these young people. Mm -hmm. And because they don't understand, yeah. in these particular recordings, they are being urged to come out and join uh, in the forces to try and help the people mm -hmm. whom are, 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 uh, are alleged to be oppressed. Uh, that is one of the other things. Yeah. And then because they are watching so much of this material, they are reading so much of these things, you will start them speaking them out. Uh, they start talking of uh, they are being marginalized. Yeah. Their community is being marginalized. Mm -hmm. Their religion is being discriminated so upon. So talk of marginalization could yes. be a flag of fall. It is. Uh -huh. uh, because when they talk of this marginalization, yes. they start looking at themselves as a community mm. which are not being given enough job opportunities. Yeah. So they are being told, you look at you people mm. you are going to school where do you expect you're going to get jobs when yeah. our jobs yeah. are being taken yeah. by these other people mm -hmm. look at you people what do you think happened in those historical injustices mm -hmm. these are the same people who did these things yeah. so these people will now these young people will now be coming up as they are trying to defend mm. the oppression mm. that the government has uh, uh, put on them yeah. and sometimes we'll find this particular marginalization is on religion look Let me at ask, us uh, because you talked about government and sorry yeah. to cut you yeah. short yeah. Yeah. Is there, is there a link between hate for government and its agencies and radicalization? Because, I mean, look at it this way. We, when you talk about marginalization and some of these things you talk about, there's always this hate. Not to say that the government is yeah, doing yeah, well. Yeah. There's criticism for government. Yeah. And then there is something else that sounds like anything that smells, sounds, 
or you know has this tendency of government yeah. is a no-no for me is there a link between radicalization and Th there's a very very uh, uh, strong correlation between yeah. the hatred for the government mm -hmm. its policies institutions yeah. and even the agents of mm -hmm. the government yeah. so that we find that this person he'll be looking at me as a government agent as a person who is being used by the government to pass on this particular oppression. Mm -hmm. So there will be that outward hatred yeah. towards any person that is working with the government, oh. towards any institution huh. that is seen to be of the government. Oh. Be because this is the only way that they see, is the only way they can be able to hit back mm -hmm. at the government that is trying to oppress their community, oppress their religion, yeah. and that kind of thing. Talk about religion, because you had talked about religion before I cr uh, cross over to Major. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, religion it's just, uh, the Major is going to tell you, yeah. it's just one of the areas that they try to use as a facet, as a way of trying to convince the people. Right. But what we tell our, our, our listeners, mm -hmm. what we tell our parents is that religion in itself is not the issue why people are at war uh, in, in these things of ISIS and Al-Shabaab. Yeah. Religion is just something that is being used in mm -hmm. Kenya because when you find in Kenya we are being pitted up Christianity versus you know, uh, Muslims. Muslims. Yeah. But when you go to countries like uh, Middle East, where ISIS has a lot of presence, they are killing so many Muslim brothers and it's sisters. It's a dominant religion. It's a there. dominant it's, religion it's there. Islam. So the issue of religion is not the bottom line. Absolutely. The bottom line, we usually tell our listeners, is about the economy, it's mm. about the politics, yeah. so that they can be able to have the control right. of the, whatever uh, they have. All right, Major, before you speak about religion, because I know you will speak about that, there's a thin line between the theory or like this is what I want to believe in because most people come out as people who are educated or who are believing a Marxist theory or Malcolm X theory. That's how most yeah. people come out in, you know. There's a thin line between believing in a theory and being mm -hmm. radicalized. So for the parents out there who is watching the show, the question for them is, how do I, draw, how do I put my fingers on that thin line that exists between my kid pretending to be, you know, out there and brainy about a theory and being radicalized? Well, uh, for the parent, yeah. you must know how your son or daughter mm -hmm. behaves. Yeah. First, this boy or girl was very polite. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he changes mm -hmm. and gets some funny, funny friends mm -hmm. you don't know. Yeah. Then 